Hey everyone, uh, today I want to talk about one of the very uh, important and uh, biggest discussions I hear about uh, uh, when you're applying to abroad uh, for any country. It's not just Canada or the US, but for any country. So most of the times students, uh, when they apply, uh, they look uh, towards consultancies, you know, they go to consultancies to apply uh, for the on their behalf and uh, uh, to get an admit you know because for because of several reasons uh, mostly students go uh, to consultancies because they think uh, okay I don't know the process but these consultancies are experienced in that and they might be able to help me but most of the times they find themselves in a position uh, where the consultancy is not so good or uh, it charges heavily and they did not uh, it suggested some wrong thing um, something you know a wrong program or like you know a program which is not good uh, so I want to talk briefly about these consultancies and uh, uh, explain few things about them and uh, if you're going through a consultancy uh, the things you have to keep in your mind uh, if and when you're going through applying through a consultancy so first of all you need to understand what is a consultancy and how it works Consultancies are uh, like, you know, they apply uh, the programs or like, you know, the masters or postgraduate diplomas uh, for these programs, they apply on your behalf. So they make a uh, application uh, on your behalf. So one thing to keep in mind is like any other business, consultancy is also a business. So business or businesses run on profits, right? So how the consultancies make profit is when they apply on your behalf and when you get an admit, they will charge you some fee. So that's how they make money. So, so when you guys go and apply to a consultancy and uh, or approach a consultancy for applying to a thesis program, you need to understand the steps uh, you're required to do to apply for a thesis program. For example, the biggest step is to write emails to the professors and which requires a lot of effort uh, which requires uh, reading through the him uh, professors pages like you know their profiles what kind of in uh, research interest they have and if you have any common research uh, background with that particular professor and uh, writing an email tailored email to that professor so when you can't uh, when you are not doing a good job in this there are like very less chances for a professor to accept you, right? So, and when you go to consultancies for the same, up, uh, for applying for the same program, these consultancies will not put same effort into your application as you do. Not only these consultancies, no one will give the same effort uh, into your application or put the same efforts into your application like you does. So when you go to a consultancy, they don't sit on your application for hours and uh, write tailored emails to the professors. Uh, like, you know, they go, the, they don't go through every single professor's profile and read their research interests and write an email according to that. They write, even if they do, they will do a very generic email and send it to all professors. And that does not work. So, and also you're not the only student who is coming to these consultancies. There are like several other students, right? So nobody spends so much of time and because at the end of the day, uh, it depends on the professor. So because when it is not so sure, uh, the consultancies won't uh, put so any effort into that. Instead, they will just suggest you, okay, thesis programs are hard in Canada. Thesis programs are really hard to get into. Uh, and so they will suggest you apply to, to apply it for postgraduate diploma programs or non-thesis programs so most of the students not knowing the, what the process is uh, how to apply for thesis programs they believe these consultancies and uh, they simply apply for the non-thesis programs or some unrelated program or like postgraduate diplomas when they already when they can or they have a chance to get into good programs with funding so Whenever you listen to someone saying, you know, hey, this is hard, this is uh, something like this, hey, this doesn't have any jobs, this, 
I know a lot of students uh, like you know who tell me uh, hey is it true that uh, if you study this program there will be no jobs is it true if you study this program uh, you will get plenty of jobs not only consultancy when you hear anything from anybody make sure you ask a question you, are, you get to know the reason behind that someone tells you thesis program getting into thesis program is really hard ask them a question like why is that when you ask sufficient number of times like enough number of times why probably you'll get to know the right answer and based on the answer itself uh, it will make sense right so getting into thesis programs is hard because you have the professor has to accept you how the professor will accept you when you write when you have a right background and you when you write a convincing email or convincing letter of purpose statement of purpose or something uh, similar to them so how do you write that you read the professor's uh, profile and look at what their interests are and uh, look at uh, what you have in your profile and if you find any common background or like common things highlight them so these are all the things you know you have to do and uh, if you don't do this and if you don't know how to do this probably you will it will be hard to get into thesis so so that's one thing and uh, also about consultancies i will tell you this uh, everything uh, is simple while from the application process like you know writing an email to a professor to uh, applying a visa for yourself booking a flight ticket to every single step is plain and simple it's uh, like you know you can find a lot of information in the official websites of universities you can find a lot of information in google uh, and in youtube a lot of sources are there uh, to help you so don't just go blindly to uh, consultancies and just don't believe whatever they say. Uh, I'm not saying all the consultancies are like that, but most of them are like that, especially when you're applying thesis program. Uh, of course, they're not completely to blame, right? I mean, they it's a business. They have to run their own business. And when they have to run that business, they can't spend all of their time on your application as well. And then the most important thing is like, that's why I, don't suggest consultancies to like students normally like i'd say hey hey if you're if you can do it yourself it's really good like because it is doable every step of the process is completely doable and it's plain and simple and you can do it if you know how to fill up an application if you know how to send an email if you know how to uh, type in and search in google and everything is doable so one thing don't go to consultancies in the case you are going to consultancies, also do your own research. Uh, try to find uh, things as yourself too. Like don't just uh, leave it to them everything and say, hey, you apply for me, size me some good courses and just apply to them. But also do your own research a little bit. Like, you know, when they tell you something, you also go yourself uh, to the university website, read the uh, requirements. If you find, read the description of the particular program, and do all of these things so uh, keep in mind when someone tells you make sure you ask questions and uh, get a clarification of why they're telling what they're telling i, gu I guess this will help uh, help you guys and uh, decide uh, when you uh, talk to consultancies uh, about what they're telling you hey.